Shaw University Student Government Association has a new president. Um, my name is Tiana Mapp. Um, I'm from Williamsburg, Virginia. I'm a senior with an additional semester, and my major is virtual kindergarten education. Campus, what I'm definitely involved in is um, I currently serve as the Student Government Association President. I'm president of the Omicron chapter of Zeta Phi Beta Sword Incorporated. This is my second term. I also serve as the secretary to the Alpha Omicron chapter of Alpha Kappa Mu Honor Society. What would you say brought you to Shaw University? I did a lot of research as far as HBCUs because due to the demographics of my high school, they really didn't target any of the high school students towards HBCUs. So definitely throughout my research, my top schools, I narrowed it down to Virginia State and Shaw University. I'm a musician in high school, so definitely that got me that one up to come here to Shaw University with a really great music program under Dr. Brown. What would you say kept you at Shaw University? The biggest thing that kept me at Shaw University is that home away from home. So like I said, I'm from Virginia. This is really out of my element coming here. And as crazy that as this sounds, it was a real culture shock coming here for me. Definitely the home away from home atmosphere and definitely being involved within my major program, the education department. They've always looked out for me serving as my mentors, different networking opportunities, internship opportunities, like it's been phenomenal. Around campus, amongst your peers and your friends, you're known as Tink. How did you adopt the nickname? I don't even know how that nickname came about. It started off one day, I guess like when I was in band camp, and it was just more so my stature. I didn't have the dress, so this this didn't happen overnight. I had a fro, and um, they were first calling me Teddy, and then it switched to Tink. I don't know where it came from, but that's just how it's <laughs> oh, Wow, so what do you prefer to be called? I'm trying to really trickle out of being called Tink. Like, I'm okay with it for now, but as I'm transitioning like, into the business world, getting more involved with student teaching, it's time to be Tiana again, so. Well, it sounds like you're truly maturing. If someone were to tell you your freshman year that you would be SGA president, how would you have reacted? I wouldn't have believed it. Just because like a title of that high rank, that's I know it's a completely trying, difficult, and I just don't think I would have been able to handle it. Especially the mindset I had was a more youthful mindset. I really wouldn't have taken it seriously. Interesting. So have you always been active at Shaw? If not, what inspired it? I was not always active, actually. actually. So my freshman and sophomore year, like, those are a little bit of my rougher years, my collegiate journey. But um, I think more so what inspired it was talks with student leaders such as Sherrod Johnson, Ariel Griffin. They definitely, like, pulled out that inner working, I don't know, that, that inner part of me definitely.